officials in two Latin American countries alerted the WHO of several outbreaks of a new infectious disease that's mysteriously appearing across the region, Severe Epidemic Enterovirus Respiratory Syndrome 2025. Over the past six weeks alone, there have been 500 confirmed or suspected cases reported. The virus could cause a severe pandemic if early containment and mitigation efforts are not successful. The pandemic in this type of situation and trend would be a risk for the global health security. Pandemics are inherently political, financial, and so much broader. We have not spoken on the leadership in the country. And I think that we need to be also very careful. We cannot decide a lot of things without the leaders be involved and agree on that. There is no substitute for national leadership. It's important to support the local response or the national response. Training those that are in these areas first, enabling them with the tools, protecting them, and if needs be, regional solidarity first. At this stage, communication is key and communication should include not just scientists with data, but also social, religious, and political leaders. Trust, this is an essential issue. And trust was broken among countries, between populations and healthcare systems, between healthcare systems and governments. I'm very sorry to say that in uh, 2025, we need to strengthen the health system. WHO needs to be a voice for the voiceless. No one is safe until all of us are safe. As of today, there have been an estimated 1 billion cases worldwide, with more than 20 million deaths, including nearly 15 million children. Countless millions are alive, but left with paralysis or brain damage. The most successful countries are those which invested in preparedness and trained for this moment years in advance. This included having full-time pandemic preparedness and response teams 